Hello everyone, Tina here. I hope you're having a great weekend. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you so much everyone for my get well wishes. I'm feeling way better. Um, although when I'm um, under the weather, um, I still do my crafting, but um, kind of therapeutic. <laughs> but for today's card, I thought it'd be fun to create a card using a sketch sheet. This is from Retro Sketches. It's Retro Sketch number one. And I thought we'd bring in some pattern papers. We haven't used these in a while. I have tons of pattern papers. This one here is from American Crafts, and it's a well-loved paper pad. It's from a Dear Lizzie collection, and I think it's it's called Neapolitan. Um, in case you guys are new, this is how I store my paper pads. I put it in a, a quart size Ziploc baggie. I just cut off the Ziploc part, and I store it upside down in my little paper bin here. And it, it's perfect size for 6x6 six six paper pads. So if you're looking for storage, I think this is a great option, and I just thought I would share that with you. <laughs> okay, jumping into our card, I cut out a few panels here. The polka dot panel size is four and a quarter inches by three inches. We're going to go ahead and adhere that to a panel with white card stock that measures four and three quarter inches by three and a half inches. We're going to mat those two together. Now this smaller panel here, it's hard to tell, but there's little grid lines on it. It measures three and a quarter inches by two inches. Now I have some pattern papers. All of these are from the same paper pad. I'm going to use a half inch size fishtail banner and cut out three banners with my pattern papers. One pattern paper has polka dots, the other has stripes, and then one has a chevron print. Once those are die cut, I thought we'd do a, something a little fun. Um, I'm using this stamp set from Hero Arts. I think it's called Happy Birthday. Now the thing with my Happy Day series, guys, is because I use older items that I've had on hand or um, that I've had in my stash for quite a while. I might not be able to find links to, but what I can, I'll link down below in the description area for you. But I stamped the word hooray on this pattern paper. I'm going to do some heat embossing with white embossing powder. I'm going to go ahead and melt that with my heat gun. And I thought it'd be fun to create a little toothpick embellishment, a little banner or a flag. So I stamped all the way to the right because I'm going to end up folding this paper in, um, in half. I'm going to use the same fishtail banner that I used for those and I'm going to add my banner um, over my fold line. Now this is, when I run this through my die cut machine, this is going to um, reinforce my score line and it's just going to make it easier when I add my little toothpick. Now I'm also going to um, cut out some stars using some gold glittery cardstock, two smaller stars. Um, I'm going to use the largest star and cut out once, the smaller star I'm going to cut out two glittery stars with that one. So there's my little banner. Now to add my little toothpick, I do use my scissors to trim off the bottom of my toothpick. Um, that way there's no sharp points. But I like to use score tape because it's a super strong tape. I'll just add some on the inside of my my hooray banner here. And then I'll add my little toothpick right at the crease. And then I have a fun little embellishment. And then I thought we'll do the same thing to our little star, the largest star here. Um, but for this one, I can't sandwich it between another. Well, you could sandwich it between another star, but for this, I thought we'd sandwich it between our foam tape. Um, so I'm going to cut out another thin strip of my foam square, and then the toothpick will be right in between. Just remove the release paper, and then I'll add a small piece of score tape covering that toothpick so I know it's not going to go anywhere. And then we have a fun little gold star embellishment. While I have my foam squares out, I thought we'd add some behind our little flag here, and then also the smaller stars. So they're ready to go. Okay, now using this pattern paper, it's this tan color. I'm going to cut out a circle with this, and then using a piece of vellum, we're going to do some heat embossing with that same stamp set. Um, I am taking the sentiment that says, make a wish. I treated my paper with my anti-static powder tool, especially on vellum, I think it's very important. But I'll stamp my sentiment with Versamark ink and go over it with gold embossing powder this time. I thought the gold embossing powder would really look pretty with those gold stars. Using my heat gun, we'll go ahead and melt our Make-A-Wish sentiment. And then using a smaller circle die, I'm going to cut out 
my Make-A-Wish sentiment here. Just run that through my die cut machine. Okay, I'm going to use my tape runner and adhere my sentiment to my pattern paper. Just using my tape runner here. And then that's ready to go. Okay, we're going to work on that smaller rectangle piece here, the grid line paper. I'm going to adhere this flag banner behind. So I'm just going to use my tape runner, kind of position it where I want it on my panel, and then I'm going to tack it down to this smaller rectangle. And then for the stripe pattern paper, I'm going to trim down my banner. So I have, I'm going to do it to all, well, the first one I didn't trim down. But this one I trimmed down to the smallest size. And then my last fishtail banner. I want them all to be different lengths. Once I'm happy, I'll add some foam squares behind this. And we're going to add a little dimension to this banner and place this on a little rectangle there. And I didn't press down all the way just yet because I wanted to make sure that my placement was where I wanted everything. And I think that looks great. So we'll press it down good. Now taking this entire smaller panel, I'm going to add some foam squares behind here. These foam squares, <clears throat> my husband got me a while ago. I think he got them at a Harbor Freight or a dollar store. So I have tons, so I'm going to use them up. But I'm adhering my polka dot paper to my card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half inches. And then we'll go ahead and add our center piece here. And you can see that banner on the bottom is overhanging. I'm going to use my scissors to trim that down a little bit more. This way we can fit it in our envelope. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to arrange my little star and my little flag, kind of crisscrossing them at the bottom. And then I did adhere my Make-A-Wish to the lower um, right of my little panel there. Added my two other gold stars. And I think that looks so fun. Okay, <clears throat> I'm using some twine that has some gold threaded through it. This is from Fun Stamper's Journey. And um, I'm going to secure that to the crisscross of my little banners with a glue dot. I just tied a bow there. And then for a little bit of sparkle, I'm going to bring in some, I think these are iridescent stars from Studio Katia. I'm going to add just three to add a little bit more sparkle. Just using my glue to adhere those. And then that's my card for today, guys using the sketch sheet as a guide and then um, if you want to see still shots of the sketch sheet and everything I'll leave them over on my blog and again if I can find anything I'll leave links down below for you I wish you a lovely day I thank you again for your get well wishes they are so appreciated we will see you again real soon guys bye bye